YouTube, it's your homeboy, Seth Marshall Fitness. Just getting a little grub in this afternoon. Um, basically, just eating some leftovers that I had the other night. But, um, yeah, it's just, last night I didn't feel nothing on the workouts I usually do. A lot of people like my workout, not my martial art technique training videos more on those. They don't really like my weightlifting videos. They don't really like my calisthenics. But it seems like my martial art training videos, they really like. Um, but I try to mix it up for you guys, and that way you guys won't get. That way you guys won't get so bored with what I do on my channel, and without you guys supporting my channel, I wouldn't be making these videos for you guys to watch. down to one soda a day. I've been drinking a lot of water lately. I've been drinking a lot of water water lately and everything. I've been cutting back on soda. I've been kind of cutting back on how much I eat. And, um, but I'm down to like 118 uh, weight. And it's because of my regimen that I do in my training and everything seems to work and I don't have a diet or nothing. I just eat normal foods like I normally do. A lot of people say, oh, you got to have a diet, you got to have a diet when you work out. I really don't have a diet when I work out. I just eat whatever I want because... Right now, I'm just eating bacon with polar sausage, with some cheese, with some rip fried beans. Three different meats, plus dairy, plus your protein. And but a lot of people really don't eat what I eat, but um, sometimes they do. You know, but I eat, I eat whatever I want when I train because it fills my body. That's what I'm used to. I'm used to eating meat. So I'm not a vegetarian. I never really like vegetarian stuff. I have tried a lot of salads and stuff. I do like salads. I would eat a salad in once in a while. But, you know, people say they know oh, you need to be on a diet. You know, to look good. No, just staying healthy, being yourself, doing your own regimen of training, and going to the gym five nights a week. You know, give yourself two days off to recover. Um, that's all you need, you know, because it doesn't matter what you eat and stuff, it's as long as you 
stay stay healthy, drink plenty of water, get plenty of rest. Um, I work at a job now where I do a lot of lifting, so I really don't really have to do weight lift, weight training all the time because of my job that I have now. I mean, I'm a manager in my own department now, and so my job's going really well for me, and I just got me a different job closer at home, and everything's been going good, going positive there, and no complaints so and I really like this job I mean this is one job that I found that I can actually say that I have liked out of all jobs and because I look at it this way you know everything I do at my job I kind of consider kind of like a workout routine because I lift a lot of milk crates all day and I haul them off onto the cart put them on the shelf and everything else. So I kind of like look at it as, as a workout routine for me. And plus, I'm getting paid more. getting like $13.50 an hour for where I was working at McDonald's I was only getting $12.50 an hour. I was only getting like three days a week at McDonald's and I'm getting like anywhere from 40 to 35 hours at this job. So and plus you can make your own hours at where I work at too. You know if you get as long as you get everything done, you know if you want you can go home early. And they, don't, and, they, and they don't care about that. And they just say, as long as you get everything done, that's all that matters. So, so I can kind of make up, make my own hours too. And I have a set schedule. And I work 8 to 4 every morning. And, I have, and I'm off on Sundays and Wednesdays. But the thing of it is, you know, the thing of it is, is that train hard, focus on yourself in a once in a while, and that's what I usually do, and I try to focus on myself a lot, and try not to think of anybody else, and and that's the thing, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of times when, when you don't just think of yourself all the time, you know, you gotta get time for you, and time for you to reflect on things when you don't give time to yourself. When you're always doing for everybody else, when you're always doing, you know, maybe for your girlfriend, your wife, or your kids, or wherever, and whatever it is you may be doing for, uh, Sometimes you just gotta reflect on yourself a little bit and just go off by yourself for a while and just, you know, focus on you, figure out, figure out things, what you wanna do with your own life, you know, and figure out, figure out your goals and your dreams, what you wanna become. And I work so hard get a manager position at every job I've worked at. And this is the first time I've ever been a manager at a job. And it does take a lot of pressure on me sometimes, but it's challenging. And the reason why he, I got hired on is because I knew the guy that I 
that works there, he gave me a chance. And he says, well, you're going to be a manager in your own department. And so I'm in charge of my own department. And even though I don't have a manager name tag, but he says, you are a manager because you run your own department. And I'm going to help it. So, <clears throat> so pretty much, uh, I've been doing good. I mean, I hadn't missed any day but maybe one day because I was sick one day. And I wasn't really feeling good, so I just stayed home and rest because that's what my body was telling me to do, was to stay home and rest. And because I was just pushing myself too hard. You know, with this new job, and I didn't, I didn't want to call him, but I had no other choice to call him because I wasn't really feeling good, and they would just send me home if I was sick anyway. Since I was sick anyway, and so. But yeah, that's the only day I missed. I only missed one day. I mean, I hadn't really missed any out of, out of, ever since I worked there, started working there. Um, I'm not going to try to keep missing either because I made a promise to him I wouldn't call in a lot or whatever. So, but that Friday morning I was kind of under the weather a little bit. I was just hot and I was just cold. And I was kind of like throwing up a little bit that morning, and I just wasn't feeling right for some other reason. And I guess, I guess I just had a flu bug of some kind, and, and I just stayed home and rest. And I think that's what my body needed. And I was fine the next day, and I went into work. I worked in full shift, and yesterday, and. He's like, uh, he seemed to be doing really bad, really, he seemed to be feeling better, and I said, yeah, I said, I was just sick and under the weather, and I said, I was just, wasn't feeling good, and I was really tired. And he said, okay. And he, he didn't get mad at me over, over it or nothing, and I, I just told him what I had, and so, I... So basically, you know, when things go good with your job and plus with everything else on the outside of your job, um, that's the thing, you know, you got to consider yourself pretty lucky, you know, you got a roof over your head, you got a car that runs, um, you got food on the table, and you got your bills paid. So. The reason why I don't join a gym is because all it is that you're just wasting money. Not really. A gym, you don't really waste money, but you waste money on gas to travel to a gym. And the reason why I try to incorporate calisthenics into my workouts that for those people that don't like to lift weights, they can do my calisthenic routine, and if they have a set of pair of dumbbells, they can do my weightlifting workouts. And everything that I do, everybody says I don't do full range of motions. I don't care about full range of motion. And most of all my videos, they would either say, oh, you don't do full range of motion, oh, your form sucks, or, uh, Or when I'm practicing with my sword, they say I hit with the blunt side of the blade. I'm not hitting with the blunt side of the blade. I'm hitting with the sharp edge part of the blade if I am practicing with the katana. And so, there you have it. You know, I'm just stating the facts on all the comments I've got that are kind of like, kind of like root comments in a way. 
thinking that they might know something. But if you now if a true martial artist comments on um, my video and tells me what I need to work on, I'll say, okay, I'll give it a try. And, and I'll try to improve on it. And that's what I'll do. And And pretty much, pretty much just, you know, working hard, saving money, and doing things I love doing, and, you know, trying to stay positive. That's the main thing you gotta do. No matter, no matter what type of day you're having, you should always try to remain positive. Because I learned, I learned that the hard way when I worked at the factory. Um, my attitude got the best of me. My sickness got the best of me. And so. I wanted to change my ways a little bit. And I cut back on the drinking. I had a drink for, I want to say, four months now. Um, I mean, I do drink in a once in a while, but I mean, I don't drink like occasionally like how I used to. Um, but there are times, hey, I, you know, if I had a rough day at work, I might go get me a case of beer or something, you know, drink that night. But I don't make it a habit all the time, like how I used to in the past. And, and that's the thing. And a lot of people will try to escape, to escape reality when they have a bad day and that's what they go to me I try to turn around and say hey I don't want this and instead of going to alcohol or something like that and going to alcohol or whatever else you could possibly on. I don't go to those things because I focus more on my training now more than ever because I'm not really trying to prove anybody. I'm not really trying to prove anybody that I'm the best out there. Um, I learned a lot of my stuff off of YouTube. Um, that's how I learned most of my stuff now is through YouTube and And then, you know, I might get certain ideas off certain videos, and then if I like a technique that they're doing or something, I'll try to incorporate it into my training. Because um, I've already been taught by the best. Um, ever since I was little, I've been taught nothing but black, black belts and taekwondo classes. And, and they do karate classes, so it's like I already know pretty much how to defend myself if I ever have to. So I basically just train hard, train smart, I do my research and I analyze it on what I'm studying. And I've been... teaching myself uh, Praying Mantis, Northern Praying, Northern Praying Mantis Kung Fu. Um, I'm about like halfway through the book already. Um, I'm learning a lot out of it. And right now, I'm on the part where it's teaching how to use Chi, how to use 
strength and footwork into the Mantis system. And it's very interesting because uh, of a style of a system. And I never really studied Chinese martial arts before. And I have other books on Chinese martial arts, but my first Chinese martial art that I've ever studied, that I've ever trained on my own, was Tao of Chi Kung Do, Bruce Lee's art of martial art. And I said that was my first system that I ever really, really truly got into. And Bruce Lee's Fighting Method, complete series book, uh, Chinatown, Jeet Kune Do, Tim Kittakit, uh, Jeet Kune Do, Shannon Lee's book um, that she wrote. And the only one book I have not gotten of the Jeet Kune Do system is the Leading Jab. But I might get that down the road somewhere around time where I can start studying up on that. Um, but I have almost about every book out there on Jeet Kune Do there is. And I really like Jeet Kune Do because it's more of an effective art of fighting because it utilizes somewhat of your own way of training. I mean, if you know boxing, stay with boxing. If you know karate, stay with karate. You know, if you know judo, stay with judo. And that's what Bruce Lee was saying. That it doesn't matter what system you practice, as long as it helps you to defend yourself, you should study. So when I read that out of that Tao Chikung Do book the very first time, I was just training in boxing at the time, and and then. Well, a lot of my friends knew boxing, and so I learned a lot from my friends that knew about, about boxing. So a lot of my friends taught me how to box. So I stayed with boxing, and I did weightlifting and calisthenics. I would get up early every morning before I went to school, did my training, my weightlifting routine, and my calisthenics routine. And then, and then at night, I would go home, do my homework, get my homework done, watch Dragon Ball Z at 4 o'clock on Toei Animation, and then, then after watching Dragon Ball Z, I'm gonna go downstairs, put on some, like, back then we didn't have YouTube or anything like that when I was a kid. The internet was just starting to come out, and so I basically. This had a radio, and I would record some music off the radio, and I had a cassette tape. I would play the music that I recorded off the radio onto the, the stereo system, and just train with what music I had back then when I was a kid. And, and I stayed with it all the way up to this time of day, but now. Everything is on the phone, so I can basically go to YouTube, download music off YouTube, and basically just off the music app that they have, and I'm just basically listening to music that way to my train. And I listen to a variety of every type of music out there. I don't just listen to one type of genre. I mean, I do listen to rap. Um, I do train. But I also listen to A's rock in the 90s country. Um, I don't really listen to country music while I train, but I do listen to 80s rock music. I do listen to um, rap, 90s hip hop area. Now, the 90s and the 80s area, best music ever. Um, best music ever that I think of all time because that's when music was music. Nowadays, music is not music. 
I'll, you know, I like some of the new rappers, like Tech Nine, um, Cardi B, you know, Nicki Minaj, and some of the newer rappers. But I don't like a whole lot of them because it's all like watered down. But um, now my old school rapper that I like is Eminem, Tupac, um, DMX. I grew up on DMX. He was one of my first rappers that I ever listened to. Um, I even liked Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg. Um, NWA, Ice Cube, Easy E. Um, at first, I didn't really get into rap till about I was 18 years old because when I was younger, I couldn't understand it at the time. And when I turned 18, I started listening to it more. And then I started understanding the words to it. And but then it kind of opened my whole idea to music when I train. And, but the thing with it is on the radio, they never had rap stations. And, and that's the thing, that's the reason why I don't like to listen to the radio now, because they don't even have rap stations on, on the radio where I live now. And so, When I I train, I listen to rock and roll. Sometimes it depends on what mood I'm in, or I listen to rap. But if I'm sitting relaxing at night, or sometimes I may just listen to country music because it's soothing, because it helps relax. Um, but other than that. I basically been trying different things in my training. Um, last night I worked out on the wooden dummy and I worked out on the wooden dummy for about probably a year. And I've been kind of like focusing on my boxing more. Um, then my kung fu. So, then my karate. But my skills are still with me. It's just. I just had it practiced it for a long time and it felt great practicing on the wooden dummy. Because the other day I had a bad day at work and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to turn this into a positive or I'm not in a bad mood all that night. And so. I mean, I mean, for the most part, you know, things are going good. Um, that's the only thing I know. Just try to stay positive and motivate yourself every day. Do things, great things, and your goals will be come to come to true. You know, without goals in mind, you can never achieve anything. And that's what I always tell people. Well, once you have goals in life, if you don't have goals in life, you ain't gonna achieve nothing. If you do have goals in mind, you got something to work with. And that's the thing. So, there you have it. Set martial arts fitness, give them a little positive life feedback on motivation today and give something to talk about. Um, I haven't done a talk video in a long time and I normally don't do these because a lot of people don't really watch them. But if you're watching this video, just stay positive, live life to the fullest, be yourself, who cares what people think of you, you know, just be happy with yourself. And that's all that matters. As long as you're happy with yourself, it's only about you. It's not, it's not only about someone else. It's not only about this person you're with. Yes, it is for the most part, but 
you gotta focus on you too. If you don't, you're never gonna have balance in life. So, learn to focus on yourself, be yourself, stay positive, stay strong, stay mental toughness, and you know, like I always say, train hard, train smart, do your research, subscribe to the channel, hit the like, hit that bell, and leave a comment down below.